Hello friends, my name is Nilam Patel, a solution consultant with Beyond 20. In today's video, we will talk about how to create a problem in ServiceNow. So in ITSM, uh, when do we create a problem? When the similar uh, nature of incidents reoccurs again and again, then it gets converted into a problem for the root cause analysis and to resolve that issue. So let's see how to create a problem. So for that, in the left navigator, we will type a problem and then we will click on the create new. So when we click on the create new, the new record uh, form will be available on the right hand side. So we can uh, fill out all the required information uh, and we have to make sure that we fill out all the mandatory information in that. Uh, form in order to create a problem. So let's see over here the required field is problem statement. So let's see a suggestion over here. So we are seeing all the uh, available uh, suggestion over here. Let's uh, select on the request uh, for a service for this problem. So this was the mandatory field as soon as we filled it out it get converted into color black. So now um, there are two ways. If I right click and click on the save, then um, the problem will get created and we will be on the same form. If I hit submit, then what will happen? The problem will get created and we will be able to see the list of the similar uh, list of the problems that we have in the system. So let's click on the submit. So now we are able to see the problem that we have created over here. Um, request for a new service now there is one more way to create a problem so we can also create a problem from the incident so let's see how can we do that so for that we will type incident in the left navigation and then um, what we will do is we will go to the incident so let's click uh, on the open so we will be able to see the list of the incidents um, and let's click on the one that we created in the previous video. Uh, so right now we are on the incident form and then uh, if we have to create a problem from the incident then uh, what we can do is we can right click and create a problem. But what I am seeing is we already have a problem for this uh, incident uh, over here. So let's go go back to the another incident and see. So right click and then uh, we can create a problem from here. So we will notice that incident number uh, will auto populate over there when we uh, create a problem from the incident. So the incident number is ending in 7001. So let's click on the create problem. So if we can see first reported by will be the incident number in this case. Initially we picked uh, from this um, list and then uh, we selected um, uh, prob uh, problem from here. So now in this case, the incident number is auto populated because we are creating this problem from the incident. So initially when we created from the problem, uh, create new problem, the first reported by we selected from the existing list. Now uh, this field uh, got auto populated and then uh, we can save and this problem number is ending in 0008. So let's go ahead and click on save and then uh, we can see the problem has been created. So this is how we can create a problem in service now. Thank you for watching this video.